Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here and you're about to see one of our behind the scene vlogs. Alright, so this vlog comes to you from the San Antonio airport. Uh, carefully wear our bags. We've got a 50 pounder on the skill now, on the money, and we are heading to Casper, Wyoming. special place we stop every single time we come up here. No, the, the rings are already on it. I just need you to mount the scope to the okay. to the bases there. Um well we got a new gun and we need some we need the scope mounted on it. The bases to the other gun were like locked tighted on there. So here we are at a sporting goods store. New scope. So this is Rocky Mountain Sports in uh, Casper, Wyoming, and uh, we wound up, uh, we're having uh, them put a scope on a boresight the rifle right quick for us so we don't have to do it when we get up there tonight in the dark. And the cool thing about coming to an independent sporting goods dealer like this is they've got a great selection of everything. And the most important thing that they have that big box stores don't have is service. Imagine that. So speaking of service, I want to talk to you about Walmart and how Walmart's stopping selling guns and stopping selling uh, ammo. I want to come over here to the ammo aisle. I want to show you all something. People ask me how do I feel about Walmart and their uh, backing off of selling guns and ammo. And I think, hell, they were never a sporty good store anyway, you think about it. I mean, a serious sportsman, do you ever go into Walmart and get something that you really have to have? Not really. And so... You come into an independent dealer, and this is what you have. Look at this ammo, okay? And you don't have to go through some girl that just got out of the diaper department to wind up getting your diaper or to getting your ammo. Look at this. Look how much ammo they got. I mean, this is the reason why you come to an independent retailer to get your stuff. That is, if you are a serious hunter. So here's a question for you. What movie did this come from? Some people just aren't cut out for life on the road. Hong restaurant arrived. Arrived, all right. Here we go. It hasn't changed a bit. All right, so every time we come to Gillette, Wyoming, we have to come here to eat, so. Mmm, boy. We're uh, saddling up right there. We got groceries on the table. There's Johnny. Worth the wait. It was worth the wait. We had about a two hour, 15 minute drive from Casper over here. Man, he's got her flashlight on. Let's see if there's anything special in her food. Was there? No. No, she hadn't found it yet. I thought I'd show you what my little cabin looks like here. All right, I just got up, and I mean, I am, uh, uh, of course, I'm always the first one out. But uh, I just opened up the door. I'm going to show you what I opened the door up to. Voila. What is that? What is that white stuff? It's coming down as we speak. Holy smokes. Yep. We got about an inch and a quarter snow so far. Giddy up. So we are uh, making sure Maddie's rifle is sighted in. I already got mine done. Where is my rifle? Oh, there it is, back over there. I already did mine, so anyway, Maddie's on deck. All right, Maddie, so when you're ready. Which one do you want me to shoot at? Well, I guess the, well, you know what? Shoot at the top one. Okay. Shoot at the top one. 
And Clint, you're watching, bud? Mm-hmm. There's Clint and John. Where'd it go? What is it? Four and a half, five inches high, inch and a half to the left. Okay. I wonder if I took it too far high. Let me uh, lower it down a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay, so Johnny's in the back. I don't know if you can see him kind of behind Maddie in the window. That's that whitetail buck that was by the water. That's the whitetail? Yeah. And there's Mike right there. We are uh, we're driving around. The weather is finally giving us a break, thank goodness. And so we are driving around to see if we can knock something up. I mean, that sounded bad, did it? Oh. Well, <laughs> bump, bump, bump something up. I'll put it that way. It's a beautiful day, though. It's been so nasty the last couple of days. Yeah, so anyway, we're driving around to see if we can find a deer or antelope that needs to be tagged. I don't have a knife. Give me your gun blade. What are you doing? I'm going to kill this rattlesnake. With it's, your knife? It's over. The, it's in the truck. You're not killing well, the rattlesnake with a knife. How about grab it? I'll hold him down, Maddie. I'll be fine. Oh, my God. No, you're not killing a rattlesnake with a knife. I can just run it over. Maddie, come on. I just need my diamond blade. I don't have my diamond Daddy, blade. Daddy, I'm not kidding. If you... Uh, Look at the size of this snake. Look at him. No, no, stop. What? I'm not kidding. Yes, now. Look at him. Look at the venom on that. Yeah. Woo, he's mad. Somebody give me something to kill him with. That's a rattlesnake. Now, keep in mind, the other day, it was snowing and raining and cold. We drive on down the road and we got us a little rattlesnake down here. Hey, I just need a knife. A knife in my other pants. And he's highly pissed off right now. Where's your head? We don't have anything to kill him with. I got an AR-10. That's big enough. Maddie, are you mad? Yeah, I'm furious. Why are you furious? Just shoot it or let me run it over. You don't have anything to shoot it with. Where's your head? You ready? No, just keep him held down. Okay, I got it held down. Hold him down real good. Honey, I'm holding him down real good. Now you hold him down right now. Huh? He's trying to hide his head. Oh, I know. You're almost on top. Just hold down part of him and off. Because he was striking like crazy. I'm about 16 inches back from his head. Ooh. There he is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh shit, he's gonna get out. Yes, he is. You're barely holding him. You're not even holding him. I am now. Yeah, I know you are. Ooh, look at him bite that thing. He is one pissed off motor scooter. Okay, now hold on. Let me turn it back a little bit. Okay, I got him. Go ahead, move. Okay, I got him there. Even a little. I bet the cop Jaeger had no idea. Hold on. Hold on a second, Mike. Cop Jaeger. I guess I'm the first person ever to kill a rattlesnake with a cop Jaeger shooting rest, huh? Let me just cut it back and forth and back and forth and back. I'm gonna chop his head off. You got his head down tight. Yeah, I got him. Oh my god. Get him? No. No, we didn't either. Did he get you? No. Oh. He's not getting away. Why don't I just yeah. put him over? Okay. There we go. Doesn't look like you got him, Daddy. Got him as tight as I can hold him down. Uh, oh, I can't cut him. I can't cut him right there because. Yeah. You know what? Hold on a second. Yeah. What a cluster this is. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. I'm coming out. Yeah. Yeah. fun with this. It's dead. I'm you not scared of it. You don't want to hold him? I don't care. I'll hold him. I could have killed him about 20 minutes ago, though. Now look at the camera and say, howdy. Go on. Say howdy. Howdy. So, so let's have a vote in the comment section. Who thinks that I should have just run it over, slammed on it with my brakes, and killed it? Or who Or... Somebody with a big old seating rest. Got it. Oh, you know what? Which one would have been the safer version? Put some venom on it right there. All right. I think I'm going to take him with me. I'm going to skin him out and take him home. Are you? Let's go antelope hunting. 